I have no idea what I'm going to model here, but here goes. So I'm all about non-destructive editing, and when I'm coming up with a an interesting shape, let's just say it's a spaceship or something so that it's abstract, we don't even care what it actually is, or what it's for, not really industrial design so much as abstract art, but let's just say we're doing a thing. And I don't know, it's that. Okay, so we've got some topology to start with. Turn on sub D, pump this up, and you know, let's just assume that's kind of terrible. Uh, and I want to do something here. I don't know. Could be anything. But the real point here is that there's a a technique I came up with for um, kind of defining graphics on a volumetric surface. And, um, you know, you want to do it in a way that you're not necessarily committed to a certain thing. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of a racing drone or something. I don't know. Um, so you want to be able to alter it as needed whenever and okay so it's just that fine whatever um goofy as it is so now the question is if i add a plane here sub d plane and it's a mirrored plane so i'm going to go to edit mode there so it's mirrored and if i turn on sub d then we get this interesting little intersection thing going on and if i give that some color and you know sure why not um and i'm going to stick it on its own layer add a layer and it's on that layer and it's got some transparency okay now when i edit that start getting these intersections i think it needs a little less transparency than that be able to see it and maybe I get some thickness which i think you know as a cut line we want to see what might be happening with that well it's sort of boring shape what if it's doing something more i don't know so we're kind of finding our, our canopy shape maybe our you know like our windshield thing is uh i don't know in there somewhere something like that maybe it's that um and then you know let's just say well and i guess the other thing i should point out here is we're way better off if we can have our cut planes intersecting in a more perpendicular way with the surface, because that matters a lot. Uh, because the resultant line that you get is really, I guess I'd say a much more honest interpretation uh, between the, the surface, the 3D surface, and the 2D plane, or sort of, you know, the cut plane. Okay, so let's say it's, you know, something like that. But if we change your mind, it's very easy just to yank this around however we want to do it. It's kind of whatever graphics look good. Um, I'm not saying that looks good, but um, maybe we want to add another plane. I'm going to edit mode, add a split, 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 and a split. And now those two splits... I push it back like that, turn on sub D and thickness and less thickness. Pull this down, that guy in. So you can see that we can kind of decide what sort of graphics could you know, complement the 
like is that a nice nice angle or should this do something more like that probably should and should this be more in line front to back with the vehicle maybe this should too right so you imagine this is like headlight design it's sort of anything you want and if that's not perpendicular enough to the surface we could just put a split through here and just start pulling these lines back right and now it's a lot more perpendicular up here and it gets to a point where if it's close enough to the shape you want you can you can pull these cuts in so close that it almost does look like like if i turn that to black could look like actual cuts in the surface just with a little careful careful treatment but when you're first starting out with your edit you might want to you know be really loose with this and and uh just keep it where you can just yank things around but once you've sort of decided yeah that's that's the shape then you can get a little, little more precise with it so in this case i might add a layer layer add a layer here i'll stick this guy on that layer and maybe i change it to you know, a very dark color maybe it's black maybe it's either metallic or clay color or just leave it flat black yeah, you know you get the idea so pretty soon you've got some pretty definite cut lines I actually probably would really want to edit that a bit more but that's the gist so you can see how you can start creating graphics really fast you know if, we, if i wanted i don't know a series of of circles on here or really just anything at all i can just take this guy and just copy and then edit that and maybe it's just i just use it on the surface right maybe i mean that's this is the cool part maybe anything like what's the limit of your imagination because that is the limit of what's possible so you know you gotta love it it's kind of a rule anyway so so this is what happens you you get sucked in and the next thing you know you can't stop yourself and people are just watching you and like you know and it's it's like watching tennis because if you can't play, what's the point of just watching? You know, you want to do it, right? Uh, doesn't apply to just tennis, now that I think about it. Um, anyway, that's the idea. So you could just do anything, and that, that could repeat. It could, you know, if we decide we want to, you know, see what it would look like further in like you know so here i am just totally sucked into this thing can't stop myself and i know you want me to stop but i can't um it's the idea all right you get the gist you can make any graphics at all um you know it can be whatever and you haven't committed to anything and then the next thing that's really important is that you come back. Let's see, I'm going to make a new layer here. And we create new topology. Okay, so now I'm going to build out this model. Let's say I've decided I really like this look, which of course I don't, but it's, it's let's say it's okay. So I'm going to pick something I can kind of see. And I'm going to grab a plane. Okay, I got that. And we're just going to start retopologizing. So, if I was going to make these surfaces, yeah. the basic idea would be like maybe there's a split here, right? So that kind of follows that curve. 
So if I was going to really build out this model, I would do something like that, but I would keep this topology as minimal as possible. The fewer vertices, the happier everybody is. So, and you kind of want to pair things up too. So like on the other side of there, then, then this is sort of the pair for that. So that you have the same number of, of, um, of sort of lines uh, building out your your model. So here we're just going to have to have one more for sure in order for that to be a tight radius. And let's say this guy might come down here and we do this and we do this and then this guy can come through here, right? Um, so you can see how that could be sub -D and turned into you know, our actual final thing. Um, in this case, we would, we could go this way and come out, you know, like so. Several ways to do it. Um, but that would be the gist. And of course, we could just keep building an edge through there. Um, I'll just go ahead and do it quick so you can see the idea. And so there'd be one there one there and in this case we want to just make sure that we're representing that contour now here for this to spread out we got to have an edge there and then that so maybe it's not gorgeous topology but it's the gist okay so you know next thing you know you've got the surface and now we just want to complete that at the center so in this case I might just say, okay, we're committed to these guys and those guys and those guys. And what? This probably comes forward, I would think, right? And this comes over to here. And the question is, how many edges does it take to describe that? that curve we can probably get away with going you know maybe that far right and then maybe down to there and click and i'm there something like that so that means this guy goes there that guy goes there that guy goes there and what do we have left well let's see does that match up might need to add an edge if it doesn't well, okay, we know that these two need to match up, right? And so probably there. And what does that leave us? Well, we really want all quads. So that has four sides. We're left with a triangle. So how do we get rid of the triangle? Several ways. I think we needed a little extra contour down there, so I'm going to do that. And now... It's a quad. See what I mean? So that's the gist. Sub D that and, you know, pull some things around. But that's the idea. So that gives us, so we've done this graphic design. We've decided we like the resultant shapes. And then from it, we build out, um, let me see, I'm going to turn off sub D. And we build out the, uh, what did I not do? Edit. Okay, uh, turn off something. Then we just keep building it out until we've got a resultant surface. And of course, I'll just go ahead and do this quick. So this guy would come in maybe, let's say, well, I'm just going to go all the way to start with. And what that tells me is for sure I need to split that edge because that is definitely too low, but that's not. So that's the lowest. Um, number of splits we could put in there and have it work. So we're committed to this guy and we're committed to that guy basically because we have to have that split there. And so I'll probably just go straight back here and straight back there just because it's simple. And you know, same thing here. So if this guy 
Now we want this edge to widen out because otherwise it's going to want to make a sharper bend, right? Um, if I kind of relax this a little bit. Otherwise, if those two lines were close together, it would want to bend more sharply. We don't really want that to happen. So same thing's true here. So if I bring this guy across and this guy, and now we kind of even those out. Now we're left with a quad, isn't that nice? So I do something like that. That's the rough idea, you get the gist. So these, you kind of relax these um, positions so that nothing is kind of pinching. And I don't know, if I turn on sub D, turn that off, there it is. Um, so, you know, we decided on an overall shape, we found some lovely graphics, um, decided to commit to that, start retopoing, and the next thing you know, you've got a fairly sophisticated model that is just the shape you're looking for, but you don't have to get bogged down in, you know, sophisticated topology like this until you know you're ready to commit. That's the real strength of this approach.